There is a lot of outrage this afternoon after a government deficit commission suggested huge cuts, including eliminating the interest deduction for home mortgages. It's in an effort to slash nearly $4 trillion in government spending. Well, we investigated some of that spending and found the State Department sending hundreds of millions of dollars to save mosques overseas. It has many taxpayer groups asking why. This 1,300-year-old Egyptian mosque was almost flooded by contaminated sewer water. It and other ancient Cairo mosques and churches were saved from destruction by U.S. taxpayers. Part of a $770 million program to rebuild Cairo's sewer system. The checks are written by the U.S. State Department's USAID program. We're spending money we don't have. This is all, you know, basically on a, a gigantic credit card right now. Millions more have been sent to places like Cyprus. The State Department displays before and after pictures of mosques refurbished with U.S. tax dollars. I think it's very, very hard to explain to the American taxpayer right now who's having an extraordinary time paying their bills and making ends meet. The State Department refused our request for an interview. We wanted to ask why it's using tax dollars to refurbish religious buildings overseas. Well, the State Department did send us an email saying it is fighting Islamic extremism by building relationships with Islamic leaders. But then one former Muslim says trying to buy respect in the Middle East just shows U.S. weakness. And America is not showing its power. It's showing appeasement. They're laughing all the way to the bank. Nani Darwish was born in Egypt, but she's no longer a practicing Muslim. She moved to America and has written books critical of radical Islam. She says most of the mosques in Egypt are run by extremists who have ordered former Muslims like herself to be killed. We are building mosques to, to, to issue fatwas of death against uh, people like me. U.S. tax dollars also fund computers and mosques in places like Tajikistan and Mali. Here at this ancient mud brick mosque, the State Department has provided Internet service along with the computer equipment needed to local imams. Taxpayer watchdogs wonder how the State Department can explain paying for Internet service while Americans struggle through the toughest recession in decades. To the average person, this could very well be an insult to them. And with radical websites inciting violence and extremism worldwide, there are concerns that the taxpayer-funded Internet service could be misused. They call us the great Satan. So we're giving them access to really get together against America. Critics say it is time to review funding for all federal programs that don't directly benefit taxpayers. Our spending money we don't have, and certainly we can cut uh, items like this. Well, the Deficit Commission announced that it would look at slowing the growth of foreign aid. Right now, we don't know if there will be cuts in this particular USAID program. We will stay on top of it, though, and let you know.